Oh, yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Bucket Cajun Kitchen. Hot day. Man, I got some crazy damn birds out here today. I never heard of that one. Eh? Anyway, hey, look. I want to thank everybody who's uh, sending me mail and stuff, you know, to Chef Bork, P.O. Box 80942. Lafayette, Louisiana, requesting some of my uh, pepper samples. I uh, put out quite a bit. Today I received uh, three or, matter of fact, four, four requests. This one here is from Oscar Gonzalez out of Texas. Oscar, you'll be getting yours in uh, pretty shortly, guy. And uh, anyway, uh, send me a self, uh, a stamp self addressed envelope. Uh, make sure you put two stamps on it. 90 cents worth and I'll be more than happy to take care of you with a sample of my peppers. Hey, I've got a whole bunch. Matter of fact, I just picked a whole bunch of ghost peppers and uh, Tabascos. I've got habaneros. I've got everything. Uh, today, here's what I'm doing. One thing I am, I'm not politically correct, but I am politically coon ass. So, I'm a work on it today I'm going to show you how what is the proper way to open a Brooklyn local one and brewski check this out first of all I got me an iced mug or it was iced a few minutes ago get over here boy move my little salt checker on the side there you go yeah yeah look at this rascal here this is awesome. All right. We're going to go ahead and take care of the business right now. Yes, indeed. Okay, first thing I want to do to open up your Brooklyn Local One beer, and it's a good beer. 100% bottle, re-fermented ale. All right, first thing you want to do, you want to be careful there. Don't, don't point that toward your eyes, because this is a real beer. This son of a gun here, don't, it ain't going to play with you. You see, uh, it's got a B on that cap. That, that must be for a bouquet. Ah, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. You heard that? <laughs> Polit politically coon ass beer. Let me tell you. I love this beer. Yes, 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 yes. Put that in my little sucker. Go ahead. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I can't put that cork back in there to recork it. And I tell you what, I always carry a cork with me. Right here, Shaq. Now let me tell you something. So, you know, I'm gonna cork this thing up. Usually if you open a beer, you gotta drink it because it's gonna go flat. This one here. <clears throat> All right, that's corked up real good. All right. And I'm not going to wire twist it, I don't have to. But let me tell you what's going to happen. I'll put that in the fridge after, I, after I'm done out here. And I guarantee you, if I open it up late this evening and decide to get some more, it's not flat. If I open it up tomorrow and decide to get the rest of it, it's not flat. No, no, no. It's all good. <sighs> Lord, Lord. Like a little salt along the inside of my glass, you know, and the outside. That's the way I am. Ah. Anyway, I'm not going to drag this out. Oscar, got you covered, brother. 
putting this in the mail to you Monday. And uh, you enjoy. Anybody else who want samples? I'll be putting them out until about the 20th. Send me an envelope. Stamped. Two stamps. And that'll guarantee you. Anyway, I've got to work on this for Oscar. And hey, I'm going to talk to you later. Ah, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, man, I got to finish this sucker up. It's hot out here now. Then I got to start the grill. And Chef Bork, I'm going to talk to you later. Ah, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Life is so damn good on the bayou, baby. No, but.